Hello everyone and thank you for watching the next video of learning Kali Linux video training series. In this section we're going to talk about scanning. Scanning is basically the process of assessing or scanning network hosts to identify whether they are live and if they are live what kind of services or ports are being used by them. There are different types of scanning using TCP IP protocol which we're going to talk about them as part of this video. So the first type of scanning is a very basic scanning called ICMP scanning. Most of you are familiar with ICMP protocol as part of TCP IP. There are different types of ICMP and basically ping is the most common one that could be used as part of ICMP scanning to identify whether hosts on the network are alive or not. If you like to understand a little bit more about ICMP types, I've included a link down there in the screen. You could basically refer to that link, which would be useful for the next steps of ICMP scanning, which we will be talking about. The next method is TCP scanning. What is TCP? TCP is a fully oriented protocol and is based off a complete handshake between a client and a server. As you can see, on the screen, I've included a sample over there. Basically, a client would send a SYN request, what we call it a SYN request, to a server, and a server would respond with a SYN ACK, and client would respond with ACK again, and that's when the handshake is completed and the session is established, and then client and server can talk to each other. This handshake mechanism could be used to scan hosts and to scan basically services running on the hosts, which we will be talking about them as well. There are different types of TCP scan, TCP half open. So basically we could use a scene request. We could send a scene request. And as soon as we receive a scene act from the server, we would basically drop the request. We don't need to continue because we don't really want to complete the handshake. We just want to understand basically if that service is running or not. Next method is TCP connect, which completes a handshake between a client and a server. So you basically complete a handshake if you're trying to connect to a port on a server and identify basically whether that service or port is open on the server or is running. And there are different types of other TCP scanning, which basically is based on sending a mal format type of TCP request to the destination and try to analyze that and understand whether the service is running on the destination or not. So if you want to understand a little bit more about TCP flags, I've included some of the TCP flags in there. So you see null scan, fin scan, or xmas scan. There are basically different types of scans based on TCP flags. Uh, you can refer to the link that I have on the screen and basically understand what those flags are all about. Next scanning mechanism we're going to talk about is UDP. UDP, unlike TCP, is not based on a complete handshake. It's a kind of a one-way protocol and it doesn't have the intelligence that TCP has. But still some of the services are running on UDP like DNS, DHCP and SNMP. And our scanning tools will give us the ability to be able to basically scan UDP services as well and identify whether they're working or not. As you can see on the screen, UDP protocol is unreliable. So obviously the scan that we're doing based on UDP is not as reliable as the scan that we're doing for TCP. So if you wanna understand a little bit more about TCP and UDP, there is another link on the screen feel free to jump there and have a look and understand what are the differences.